Big Three Fantasy Alarm TV. I'm your host, Ray Flowers. Let's talk some hitters here on the second day of May. We're going to start with the number of 1.076, which happens to be Derek Dietrich's OPS to start the season this year. Now, it's less than 50 plate appearances, but why he needs to be paid attention to is obviously the D. Gordon suspension. 80 games, D. Gordon is out. Looks like Dietrich is going to see a lot of the time at second base for the Marlins instead of D. Gordon. Who is Dietrich? Well, he's someone who has a career OPS of under 600 against left-handed pitching. Really can't hit them at all. He does have more success against righties. 540 at-bats, 21 home runs, 60-plus RBIs, hitting 248. Eh, you know, those are, those are decent, passable numbers. He's on the cheap. He's on the waiver wire. If you want to add him and hope that he continues this hot streak, you know, so be it. But understand, he's a moderate hitter against righties. He really can't hit lefties. Obviously, why he hasn't been a full-time player to this point. The next number is 377, which is the on-base percentage to this point of the season for Melky Cabrera. Now, that's about 40 points above where it normally is. And we've seen Cabrera in the past have some great seasons. But I really don't think he's that kind of hitter at this point. He's on a, a good offense with the White Sox. And he's got a chance to you know, play a significant role for that team. But understand, he is a 336 career on-base percentage guy. He doesn't drive the baseball very well. He's stolen 11 bases the last three years. You really should be looking at him as a guy that... 12 home runs, 70 RBIs, 70 runs scored, you know, hitting in the 270s, much like he did last season. The bottom line for him, really good start. He could surpass the numbers he posted last season, but you shouldn't be expecting him to do that. And then the final number today is 1.039, which is the OPS this season of Giovanni Soto. Now, we're all looking for second catchers in leagues out there, and, you know, it's a mess at this point. There's a lot of catchers that are really underperforming. And you look at Carlos Perez of the Angels, and he's got an OPS of under 400, and I don't care how good a defensive player you are. If you're doing that, you shouldn't be playing. Giovanni Soto is gaining traction with the Angels. Three seasons in his career with at least 17 home runs. So this guy does have some pop. And over his last seven games, he's driven in seven runs. He has three home runs, and he's got four games with at least two hits. He is surging. He is trending. Not sure he's going to stay a top 30 catcher, but right now he certainly looks like he could be. He's gaining ground on Perez, who I would have to figure at some point in the very near future starts to lose significant playing time to Soto. Take a shot on Soto if you need that second catcher. You don't have to invest heavily in him right now, and he is surging at the dish for the Angels.